Hey guys, I am Mark Bagwell up in Oconee, South Carolina on beautiful Lake QE. I was raised in a pastor's home and I pastored for 25 years. And then in August, 2015, uh, my wife and I founded and now I'm president of an international organization called Shade Tree Ministries. And it is a place uh, for rest for you guys and people like you that are leaders in ministry, pastors and their wives, missionaries. And actually, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Shade Tree and invite you over uh, in our next time together. But today, I just want to share a, a quick story with you. Uh, when I started Shade Tree Ministries, uh, we wanted to do, of course, local missions and domestic missions, and we also wanted to do international missions. I asked the Lord, God, send us some place that we can go back every year, build relationships uh, that won't be so expensive that we can get our folks over there, and he did that. He led us to a little island called Eleuthera. And Eleuthera is part of the Bahamian chain of islands. It has a lot of Haitian refugees on it. And uh, as of now, Golden Corner Church has went for 20 years straight, uh, except for last year. They had to call that particular trip off. About three years into going to Eleuthera, though, a bad hurricane happened. And it really hit Eleuthera very, very bad. So myself and a few guys that spring went over to check out besides what we would do at Bible Club, what we needed to do to help rebuild some of the churches, some of the schools, some of the homes. And so uh, we investigated that. And then we went over to a little island called Abaco because one of the guys with us, his sister lived there and her husband was a fisherman and he took out fishing charters. Luckily for us, we got to go out on a charter the very next day, free of charge because we were with him. And I was the only one that had never been deep sea fishing before. So they said, Mark, the very first fish, you get to try to pull it in. Now I need to tell you this, the size of the bait that he was putting on the hooks that we were gonna throw out there was bigger than anything I had ever caught in Lake Kiwi. So I knew if something bit that, we were gonna have one more honking big fish. So sure enough, about an hour into us, trolling uh, through the water, one hit. The captain jumped from his perch. He grabbed the pole. He told me to sit in the chair. He gave me the pole and he started saying, reel, Mark, reel, pull. So I would reel and I would pull and I would reel and I would pull. And he was actually taunting me. He was saying, come on Bagwell, you look like a sissy. You look like a tourist, pull, reel. And then all of a sudden, he started hollering, seriously, Mark, pull real as hard as you can. A shark, a shark is after your fish. And sure enough, about a hundred yards out, we could see that shark coming after my fish. You can imagine how that wahoo, which was a wahoo fish, was going crazy. Maybe about 45 or 50 yards in, or maybe a little closer than that, that fish went out of the water and so did that shark and it jumped and bit my fish half in two. I was going crazy. I couldn't believe it. But the captain said, there's still fish. Keep pulling. It'll come after the rest of it. So I'm reeling and pulling as hard as I can. As soon as the fish gets to the back of the boat, the captain reaches in, pulls the fish, throws it into the boat. And the shark is coming after that part of the fish so fast it can't stop and it just hits the back of the boat. By this time, I'm standing in the chair screaming, ah, can you believe that? Can you believe what happened? Man, I tell you what, I couldn't wait to get home, tell my kids about it, and I couldn't wait to get home, uh, back to Eleuthera that summer and tell the young people that I normally worked with about it. I told them the whole story. Of course, I elaborated a whole lot more than I did just now with you guys. And one of the young men asked me, he said, Preacher Mark, he said, do you know why that shark came after your fish? I said, well, I really haven't thought about it. I guess it was hungry. He said, no, no, no. Sharks are scavengers. They come after what is injured. And as soon as that young man said that, the Holy Spirit said to me, 
And that's the way the adversary comes after my children when they're injured, when they're depressed, when they're sick. You know, John 10.10 10 says that Jesus looked at his disciples and he said, guys, I need to tell you something. The adversary, he's just out to steal, kill, and destroy. But then I can see Jesus putting a smile on his face and saying, but I have come and I have come to give you life abundantly to the full. So today I just need to say, as I'm looking at ministry leaders, pastors, you know, the deal is the bullseye on your, excuse me, on your back is bigger than anyone else's. The adversary wants to come after you. And many, many times the way he does that is he just whispers in our ears. He will tell us things like that nobody cares. Nobody's listening. Uh, 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 even God's not listening. It's just not going to work. And I want to tell you this today. The Holy Spirit would never say those kind of things to you. So if you are are hurting today, if you're depressed today, if you're sick today, or you're just feeling the adversary coming after you and he's pecking on your head and he's whispering those things to you, know this, again, God would not say those words to you. And you just have to say, Satan, no, I will not believe what you're saying. The Bible, matter of fact, tells us that God is watching over us and he sings over us. So I encourage you today to lean on him. Lean on some of the guys that are in there with you. Share what you're going with, uh, going, uh, what's going on inside of you. Uh, let them pray with you and encourage you as I pray for you and encourage you as well. You guys are my heroes. Stay in there. Let people help you. And when the adversary comes after you, no, it is not God. God is on your side. He is protecting you. He loves you dearly. I love you dearly too. God bless you. Thank you for letting me spend a few minutes with you.